welcome back to our bedroom makeover part three last week you saw us paint our nook a beautiful dark green lime wash color and this week we are using a much lighter lime wash color on the rest of the room we are shopping for the perfect secondhand headboard and we may or may not have found the most beautiful nightstands for free oh on the gosh. side of the road. I see two tables, they're both there. We are excited, today is Lime Wash Paint Day. Last week we got our first dose of Lime Wash Paint. You should check out the video. We did an off nook with a green color, so it was nice to get acquainted with it and how it goes on because it is different. If you're tired of just rolling on paint in your bedroom, then this is a nice change of pace to use Lime Wash because Every stroke is unique, every wall that's lime washed is different, and it's actually really satisfying and fun. So that's what we're doing today. For this, we chose the color Cavalier by the color Atelier. It's a nice, warmer, beigey tone that we hope is gonna look great on these walls and contrast to the green that we chose for the nook. <laughs> To make our lives easier, we started with a smaller brush to do all of the edging. Next, we started to build our cloud formations using an X pattern and kind of just randomly filling out the wall to really add to the dimension. reference we did our entire room with the first coat and we still have over half of the gallon left the first coat didn't fully cover our textured walls so we went ahead and gave everything a full second coat oh my love You're such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm it all And oh my love Don't worry about the cold just yet the trees haven't started to shed Just feel the summer sun As it warms our bed Oh my gosh! I see two tables, they're both there! How's it look? Good? Slides easy. Heck yeah, there's our nightstands. Number two. Seven. 
this one looks maybe too big. Yep, it's a king. Dang it. Okay, but look at this one. We're getting it. $40. Tell you how many times. <laughs> Do it. I can walk around with my eyes closed. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. We got the bed. We were a little crazy because it's definitely too small for a queen size bed, but it's a full and it was too beautiful and antique to pass up, especially when she marked it down from $150 to $40 for us. So I kind of felt like we had to have it and maybe it was meant to be. So we are bringing it home and luckily since it's smaller, it fit perfectly in our car. So we didn't have to attach it to our roof and drive very sketchy. We got time on our side, I stayed home. Our room is finally coming together and I didn't want to just end the video leaving you hanging. If you can't tell by my voice, um, I ended up getting quite a nasty cold and I have been out for the count the last few days. I finally have my voice back just in time for Tyler to potentially have just gotten the same cold. He woke up with a sore throat. I think our dog also is sick, so we're just an entire sick household right now. So we're gonna take a pause on the projects for the week. What that means for you though, is next week we're going to be doing double the amount of projects. We're going to be completely finishing the room. We have already picked up some different cool pieces. One of them may or may not be a fireplace. So you're gonna have to stay tuned for next week. We're going to be refinishing the side tables that we got for free. I'm debating on how much wood we want to keep. It is a pretty shade of wood, however, the headboards wood as well, and I don't really want too matchy-matchy, so we might be leaning towards doing a black paint color and still exposing some of the wood. Not sure yet, would love to know what you think. We still have the headboard that is in a beautiful condition. I looked those up online and honestly, any of those spindle style antique bed frames are closer to like 500 to as much as $1,500. It does need a little bit of work. So stay tuned as we try to get out some of the scratches on that and bring back the beautiful wood color. This week might not have been as much going on, but our bodies just told us to kind of take it easy. Next week, get ready. We're going to be completely finishing the bedroom, the nook, everything. We're gonna decorate it and just put it all together. I am extremely ready to have our room back and I can't wait to show you the transformation. And fingers crossed, we will be feeling 100% better next week. <laughs>